not every community, not every society runs on the same value system. In some societies, you have a what we call a dharmic perspective, which is that every human being is divine and a, a manifestation of Paramatma. And in other communities, you have uh, still an element of tribalism. There is tribal competitiveness going on. There is competitiveness for resources, competitiveness for primacy, for political power, all of those things. And when you take all of those totally different strains and put them into one cauldron and then mix it all up, then there are going to be odd outcomes. Now, we know that in many parts of the world, tribalism still exists and where it's perfectly feasible to go and kidnap the daughters of a, uh, an, a tribe which you find offensive and bring them into your own. It's been going on for a long period of time. It's also in record, it's a recorded fact of history that one of the most violent ways in which you can attack a tribe that you oppose is to destroy their capacity to reproduce themselves in the civilizational mode that they would continue. We saw this in Bangladesh when the 1971 war, and the whole purpose of raping, what, 400,000 Hindu women was nothing other than to destroy the future of that society. And so there are ideologies where these principles are at play. Mm -hmm.